You are listening to Slightly Warped, the podcast that tackles topics with a unique perspective. Here's your wild card, Richard Kearney, and your whimsical, Ryan Pulley. Hey, everybody. Welcome to another edition of the Slightly Warped Podcast. I'm Rick, joined as always by Big Show. Show, how's it going, man? What up? I'm good. How are you? Uh, you know, um, better than I was 24 hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised you ain't got no Raiders girl on dancing a jig of glee there. You know, I thought of it, but no, let's not get ahead of ourselves because we Every time we've mentioned the McDaniels firing, because we've hoped for it for a long time now, the age-old question that comes right after it, if he's gone, who do you replace him with? And yeah, I know, I know. We got an interim coach right now, but I want... Where's Versace? Go, go bring him back real quick for this year. Let, he knows not, what to do. No, no retreads. I don't want anybody who's been here before. I don't want anybody who's been an NFL coach before. I want a young, hungry offensive coordinator who is desperately trying to make a name for themselves. Eric Bieniemy. Um, that would work for me. Are you sure you want Bieniemy there? Bieniemy strikes me as the type of person who is definitely trying to prove himself. That's the reason why he did the lateral move to Washington. No, I understand why he did it. I I, I understand why he did it. But are you sure you want the enemy? I'm not a hundred percent sure. No, I mean that just seems to be, you know, I don't think the enemy wants that job. I, I could be wrong either. I mean, I, I and no, he, it's not like they're going lights out in Washington. Yeah, they're playing good, but they ain't winning. They got the same record as the Raiders. That is true, but. There's there's at least some excitement in Washington these last few years. Washington has been like dog do for a couple decades. Not that we haven't, but True that. we've kind of got a, uh, I don't want to say mystique anymore because that's past. Not necessarily a reputation either, but uh, we were one of the darlings of the NFL until the dark times, until the 90s and Marty Schottenheimer. I'd say 60s and 70s, you might have been the darling. At the beginning of the 80s, because we did win the Super Bowl in 80 and 83. Wow. So, yeah. Pulled that one out of your hat. Well, you know, I mean. 83, that was against Washington, right? Uh, uh, 80 was, wasn't it? 83 was Philadelphia. Or the other gotcha. way around. It doesn't matter. They both got their tails whooped. One of those games was that great Marcus Allen run. Yeah, that's that was against Washington, but I thought that was 83. It it, it could have been. It could have been. Those were the days. Yeah, I uh I mean, you know, for you being my only Raiders friend <laughs> that I claim. Wow, the true uh, minority. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm happy for you. I mean, because you've been wishing this forever. But like the day know, he got hired, yeah. Be careful what you wish for, because you just might get it. And here we are. Um, I, you know, I'm surprised. I mean, I'm a little surprised that they they fired him now, uh, because it's not like they're out of the race. They're three and five. They have a very winnable game this week against the Giants. Uh, they could be four and five and be right in the thick of things. I mean, they're not going to win the division, obviously. But let me ask you this. Why do you think it's winnable? The Giants? Because they have no quarterback. Both. Uh, Is Tyrod Taylor out? Yeah, he broke his ribs. Oh, it was broken. Okay. I, I didn't. I or did not know injured that. his ribs or something. I mean, he's hurt. He's not 100%. Yeah, but what are we working with? But, here? and I mean, I mean, but look at, but also look at your guys' defense. Your defense played really well. That's that score was sixteen to fourteen. You know when uh, 
Peterson, Peters, sorry, Marcus Peters uh, ran that pick six back. Yeah. You know, kept y'all in the game. Kind of like the Denver Chiefs game, you know, our defense kept us in the game till towards the end. It's kind of how it was with you guys. Yeah, yeah um, I can see that. I mean, so the Giants game is a winnable game. It, uh, I'll give you and that. I'll be it's honest, winnable. you guys will probably win it this week just because McDaniels isn't there. The The emotion for the team, they're going to be like, let's win one for whoever's doing it now. I wouldn't be surprised either. You're right about that. I mean, I'm still, there's still a long ways to go. There's a lot of mess to clean up. Garoppolo was not the answer, should never have been there. You have a quarterback that can't stay on the field and can't throw the deep ball. Why do we have Devontae Adams if we have a quarterback that can't throw the deep ball? Well, I mean, I, I can see that too. Um, but I also, you know, it's not that he can't. I, I don't think he has the protection to be able to set it up and throw it. I mean, your offensive line is garbage. Hot garbage. Yeah, that's true. That's very what up, Kev? What's going on, fellas? What's up? Just sitting there talking about the Raiders debacle. Yep. Uh, so you losing time out your life? Boy, every every Tuesday. <laughs> Look at that. You got a new gray hair already. <laughs> but, but enough about them. Why are you on your daughter's computer? You said why what? Why are you on your daughter's computer? I don't know why it shows her name. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> it's, it's my laptop. I'm like, we ain't did no Zoom meetings. But then we did some school related. So. Oh, okay. Well, you know. You're losing weight, big homie? I'm trying. I'm trying. You can see it in your face, man. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, you can hey. definitely see it. Hey, become a Raiders fan. You'll drop weight fast. Trust me. I become a white Raiders fan. Y'all gonna think I'm on the rock, so I can't do that. <laughs> that crack be calling, man. Hey, that's what it's gotta be to keep uh <laughs> right keep on what y'all doing. Well, they said twelve coaches <clears throat> in twenty years. Yeah, you know, I'm not worried about that. I mean, you guys are gonna be surprised when we get to the goat list and I talk coaches, but um, and by the way, for everybody, at oh, home, I bet you we hear Gruden. No, just get won't. ready for there, hard. There are no Raiders on my list, by the way. Just, just get ready for there shouldn't be next head coach. No. Just get ready for Harbaugh. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm still not sure about that one. I mean, everything lines up. They said he's probably gonna try to make a move to the NFL because Michigan said, "Oh, you still in signs? We go take your extension." And you know how he feel when he can't get his way. Ask the 49ers. That's why he ended up in Michigan. It's going to happen. And what is Mark going to do? Let's make a splash. How do you make That's a splash? It. You bring Harbaugh, who will give you two good years. Yes, and that will. third year is going to get shaky. It's going to be like the McDonald's or McFlurry machine. It ain't working. That's true. As I would, a Chiefs I would, fan, I hope that happens. I would be happy if he's somewhat like his brother. He's I, not. His brother's past his time in Baltimore. So what are you talking about? Well, they're still doing good. He was on his last straw. If Jackson didn't pan out this season, I guarantee you he was getting fired. I could see that. I could see that. Yeah, I'd have to agree as well. Okay, we're we're talking about the goats in sports. We'll get back to the NFL in a minute. But uh, I want to talk about the other sports. So, you know, not just me, not just Big Show. We got Kevin in the house. We got Robert in the house, who was in the house, but not in the house. Now he's back in the house. Now he's okay, back. There's Robert. What's up, Robert? Hey, what's up, everybody? Can you hear me? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So the reason why I want to go over some of the uh, other sports, I don't want to say lesser sports, but other sports, because, you know, we are big on the NFL here. Uh, we don't talk enough about the other ones. So y'all got the list. Let's start with baseball. Who is your all-time GOAT in baseball? Hank Aaron. Hank Aaron, ultimate GOAT. For me, my generation, personally. Barry Bonds. I, I had Barry Bonds as well. I had Bonds and Griffey Jr. I couldn't say Griffey because he was hurt too much. Granted, he got the greatest swing we've ever seen, but he just that spent swing too was much too. time on IR. 
I know, but you could do the same argument with bonds being with the steroid case and all that good stuff. Never was proven. There's an, a, there's an ash. There's an ash. <laughs> hey, either was OJ, but we know that's wrong. It was a cream. OJ didn't injection. do it, but you know who did. <laughs> oh, I'm sure OJ did it. That's a whole nother story. So, you know, here's one that we we play a lot of nowadays: golf. Who you got? You know, I thought about this the other day when you sent me this. That's kind of like asking somebody 30 years or older, like myself, who's the greatest dancer of all time? I don't know but one person. What? Tiger? You know. Ah, the you other know, dude. I, I I've heard a lot of speed. people say that, but oh, I've got is that, is, that, is, that, is that how you pronounce his name? Speed? Nope. Who? Oh, I, Jordan. Uh, no, Speed. You no, know, that's what I. That's what nah. I just said. Tiger. No, I got Jack Nicholas. Is that's like that's like MJ? Is the greatest entertainer of all time. Tiger had the potential to be number one on my list, but the reason why I chose Jack Nicholas is because Tiger's still chasing that record. Look, I picked Tiger, but I wanted to say Greg Norman, but I went with Tiger. I had a tie between Tiger and Arnold Palmer. I mean, when you got a drink named after you, you got to put him on the list. Hey, that's that good. I didn't think. I didn't think about that. I didn't think about that. You did. Yeah, hey, there you go. It is a good drink. So, here's one where it's going to be really interesting. I hope boxing. Man, this one is hard because there's too many uh, variants. You know, because the weight <clears> classes. <throat> Weight classes, styles. Um, they all I, done fought, as my brother Tony would say, tomato cans to just pad their record. I'm still Mayweather. going with Ali. I'm going with Ali. I'm I mean, it's hard for us not to. Um, uh, the people before my generation, you know, you had Joe Lewis. Uh, but I'm going with Ali. Before Tyson. Before. before I mean. Uh, yeah. I, I came close to picking Tyson. I, I watched some stuff, especially Tyson's podcast. Tyson even says Ali. So, you yeah. know, can't argue me, with that. This is about the wow, y'all. Pound for pound, y'all must have forgot Roy Jones Jr. <laughs> See, he's on, that's, I'm with you. He's on my list. Hey, As a pure, pure you can't fighter. Knock that. You can't knock that. Pure fighter, Roy Jones Jr. Did it in two different weight classes. Yes, but I mean, but you know, honorable mentions. You got Mayweather, you got Hagler, Hearns, Frazier, all of them guys. You got them all. Pacquiao, Oscar yeah. De La Hoya, all of them guys. They all have Lennox Lewis. They they they've all got their their spot. It, that, that that's card. But you know, I, I'm with. I would have to say if I know, obviously Ali would be the the choice. Here comes the interesting one: tennis. Shit, whoever y'all say, I'll agree with. Arthur Ash. <laughs> I will go Arthur Ash also. There you go. Why do you suppose Ash? Because if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't play. We wouldn't, we wouldn't see. We wouldn't see the greats that we got today. That's right, but does that make him the goat? Yes. Yeah, because he broke the barrier. To where it made everybody feel like they could play, male or female. So or then, by that virtue in baseball, would we say Jackie Robinson? Yes, true. None of us but, said that though but, earlier. We, we all had different yeah. names. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. You, you said you, you said who do who do we say in baseball? We all said Barry Bonds, and you, you said, said yeah. I said Hank. You Aaron. said Hank Aaron. Hank Aaron. I said mm -hmm. Hank Aaron. Okay, wouldn't that be true? Yeah, I, I, Jackie Robinson, he did broke, he broke the barrier, and you got, then you got to think about Satchel Page and all them brothers. Mm -hmm. You know, they broke the barrier, they broke it down too. And so, I would say that they were all very important in doing that, but it's a different criteria to be the goat. It's kind of like, uh, what, what's that saying they have? the uh, most valuable player and the most important player, that's two different things. It, here's how I see it. Baseball as a whole, yeah, Jackie Robinson did it 
somebody else was going to do it at some point. Tennis mm -hmm. is a smaller situation to where 500 people ain't going to play it. Baseball, you got a wide variety that's going to play it. What Arthur Ashe did changed tennis top to bottom. If I didn't do him, I probably would have said Agassi or Pete Sampras. But I just said him because he's the reason why Serena and Venus played. He's the reason why we've had, you know, different minorities that have played tennis. Jackie, what he did was cool, but let's be honest, he was the average player at best. He didn't win anything. Someone else would have broke that barrier at some point. He was just the right one at that time because he had an image for the team. I can see that. I had two on my list, and, and I went with Rafael Nadal because of all the majors he's won, and I picked Serena as the other because of those barriers being broken. <laughs> yeah, tennis don't realize, but uh, they about to miss Serena badly. I don't think they understand it. All right, the last sport here, the NBA. Talk to me about basketball. And if anybody says LeBron, I'm cutting you off right now. <laughs> it's Jordan. It's, Hands it's, down. It's, it's Jordan. It's, the, it's Jordan. For sure. Magic Johnson. You All just right. can't, uh, you just can't not be a Knicks fan, can you? Stop being a Knicks fan for just one minute. No, no, Come on. He said Magic Johnson. But he's Johnson a Knicks fan. That's Lakers. why he's not going with a bull. No, the, the reason um, why I say Magic Johnson, because he can play any position on the floor. In exactly. his era. Yes. And people forget at Michigan State, he was averaging down there 30 points a game. When he came to the league, he chose to be a distributor. Right. If he wanted to be a ball hog, no telling how much bigger he could have been. Magic, there's nothing he couldn't do on the floor besides fly in the air. Because if you see those kind of see he too. played in, them <laughs> things were heavy. But I got you to know see what? I got to see him. I got I, to see I him can't. his first year. His I mean, year. I can't knock wanna... that pick. That's a good pick, and if anybody listened to the show last week when me and Big Show talked about it, your argument right there tells anybody out there who wanted to pick LeBron, you can't. LeBron's not even the best player on his team, so he can never Correct. be the GOAT. On his franchise or whatever. I mean, if you want to say Johnson is the GOAT of the 80s, I would agree with you. But he's not above Jordan. Yes, Jordan, 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 he, he's, if I'm not mistaken, and I don't know, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's five or six seasons, but he won the defensive player of the year and offensive player of the year yeah. multiple yeah, times. Killed. Nobody yeah. else has done that. Yeah, that's true. He killed it. But if you look at what Magic did to him and Bird, we all can agree they saved the league when the league was about to be dead in the water. Right, but if we go by that argument that you use, but Magic Jackie had Hall of Body was gonna come do that anyway. Right, but Magic had you Hall of Fame, Hall of, Hall of Fame teammates. Bro, Worthy. And so, hey, don't act like, like, don't, don't act like Pippen or, or, or Pippen is not Hall of Fame. <laughs> oh, you crazy? Pippen's Hall of Pippen Fame. Pippen is not Hall of Nah. Pippen's Pippen's Hall of Fame. You put you put Pippen on. No, Pippen is great. Don't get me wrong, but you put him on another team. He doesn't do what he did. Pippen didn't make Jordan. Jordan made Pippen. No, I'll agree with you on that. I agree. But Pippen is Hall of Fame for what he did. Every Batman needs a Robin. That doesn't make him have his own comic book. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here's my here's the one thing I'll say about Maywa Pip Magic. When it's all said and done, have we seen another point guard better than him? No. No. I'd agree, no. But other than Jordan, have you seen a better basketball player than him? See, that's where I go magic. <laughs> the thing he couldn't do on the court. Basketball player, period. Hands down. Yeah, again, magic. And again, hey, I I grew up watching Jordan, so I'm I'm just speaking no, no, I get my it. generation. So you know, you know he's, he's hurt my feelings. I, I can read history books and tell you that George or that uh what's his nuts was great, but I've actually I don't, I don't need to grew up I, in a, being a Knicks fan, I've seen him and all the BS I know you have done. the double nickel on him to this couch. day. I'm gonna ask for some shoes, then I'm gonna hit him. But I well, are, are you drinking haterade? Is that what you just took a sip of? All the time when it comes <laughs> 
the rings Patrick could have had. <laughs> hey, all right. We still talking the goats, but now we're breaking it down. We're going to the National Football League. <laughs> and uh the reason why I want to break it down is because this is our sport, man. Controversy time. Greatest running back. I'll start. Barry Sanders. I'll agree with you on that. I was going to say Barry Sanders uh, myself from what I've seen through the years. Uh, yeah, Are we talking about what there. we watched or NFL history? We're talk I'm talking about well, I history. can only go by what I, I've, I'm, I've I'm seen. Going, but... Okay. I just want to make sure that because you know, we were going back to like Hank Aaron and, and, and Jackie Robinson. Nay, none of us seen them guys play personally. Yeah. So I just want to I want to know what the criteria is. Yeah. <laughs> <Robert>. <laughs> Come on, Call him on the tail. I, I bet you don't look I've been, that I've been to this. I've been to the games when the tickets were cheap. I've seen yeah. them. So yes, I would agree. And I all mean, that time, if Barry you look Sanders. at that trash line that Barry Sanders had behind him, in front of him, you put him on any other team, he would have excelled. Oh yeah. So. Yeah, it's got to no, be Barry. Barry Sanders, yes. It, it I, hurts I, me. I, we can agree on that one. Yeah, but it hurts me that his career was pretty much, he he, he ended it too early for me. I wish he had went to another team. I mean, if you think about it, Detroit should be banned from the NFL because they ruined two great players' careers because they couldn't get out. I and think that was his daddy. His, his, his daddy. his daddy didn't want him playing for another team. So I don't know. Detroit ruined him, but you know, I, they well, they would let they wouldn't go trade him. So it was like, hey, I'm retired. Yeah, yeah. Like with Megatron, he wanted out, but they wouldn't trade him. So although he said he was dealing with injuries and he retired, I was like, really, dude, really. Yeah. So two great players, Detroit helped just leave the game earlier than what they should. All right. Wide receiver. I'm going. I know the great Jerry Rice. Going the same. Yeah. You know I was yeah. going with Jr. Jerry, that's my guy. That's Randy my guy. Down. Hands down, Jerry Rice. Randy Moss all day. But who owns the records? Randy's right there on the lot of more. He got <laughs> some right there. Right there ain't close enough. I'm sitting <laughs> next to a Lamborghini, but I don't own it. <laughs> but just Dude, because. So I'm just going to play Nate, your devil's advocate because I also agree with Randy, <laughs> Randy Moss on this one as well. Mm. But just because you have the record, does that make you the greatest quarterback? I mean, greatest wide receiver? How many quarterbacks did Moss play with? How, How many, many did Rice play with? quarterbacks, you should say? I mean, yeah. he Rice had Hall of Fame quarterbacks back-to-back -back for most of his career, Montana and Young. Yeah, he did. Montana and Young. And honestly... This Moss goes sound didn't wild. Have that luxury. Outside of later in his career when he got with Tom Brady, Randy's best quarterback might have been Randall Cunningham. It was. Yeah, it was. It, yeah. Cole Pepper had an arm, but Cole Pepper is about as accurate as me without my glasses. Mm. But that's why yeah. Cole Pepper was decent, was because he had Carter and Moss and just exactly. closed his eyes and said, fuck it, he's down there somewhere. Yeah. You yeah. see, that's another yeah. thing where you got to put Moss up there. He played with another Hall of Famer and got his in the Hall of Famer did not. And they both got theirs at the same time. Like, I know. All, okay. Taylor but if you say Tim Randy Bryant, Moss, why not Terrell Owens? Because they're basically one and one A. No, they're not. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm talking about stat wise. Mm -hmm. he, he's still a quarterback. You have to take a, sometimes you have to take look past the stats. Stats will, will cloud your mind. That's okay. why you think Derek Carr is a good quarterback. Stats cloud your mind. <laughs> See, why why you want to hey leave car out uh, of this? On, this has been a happy day so far, so leave car out of this. The the thing with TO, his stats could have been bigger and better than Randy's if he didn't have the problems he had. Every stop he went to at some point, he had an issue, and he could have continued to play and had bigger numbers, but he had friction with the one person you don't have friction with the quarterback. You can piss the OC off because he ain't out there, but you can't piss off your quarterback. He That's pissed right. off Garcia. He pissed off Romo. He pissed off McNabb. Only one he didn't that piss was off the one that hurt. was Dalton when he was in Cincy. And that's because Ocho kept him in line. But if you, right. 
he didn't Did do he piss off talking. Brady? He said what? Did he, he piss was, off Brady? He wasn't there long enough to piss he off Brady. He wasn't in New England long enough. No. Did he go to New England? He, he's, he, yeah. was a, he, he was part he of the undefeated James, season. He was, he was James Harden. <laughs> he was James job. Harden. Here's my last here's my last argument for Rice. Just like Arnold Palmer has a drink, Rice has his own section on ESPN. You got Moss. I mean, uh yeah, Moss. They don't say you got Rice. Okay. Yeah. You got Moss. That's point blank for, for Randy Moss. Yeah, I have to agree with that because you got Moss is a great segment. And the great part about it, I think Randy can still play today if he wanted to. Oh yeah. He could be yeah. a slot receiver for somebody making 30-yard possession catches and probably still taking a couple to the house every so often because that speed don't die. Not if Garoppolo's throwing it to him. Okay, I'll stop. Exactly. Yeah. stop. <laughs> no, that one. That one's true. That one's true. All right. Tight end. Kelsey. Probably. I'm, I, I'm, I'm going with Kelsey. Um, I've seen them all again. This is through my generation. This dude is – you know what? Gronkowski fits up there. I had a I had a toss up between Gronkowski and and Kelsey. For the long distance ball, it's Gronkowski. You know what I'm saying? The short pass, the over the middle, this and that. It's it's Kelsey all day getting open. I, all right, who I, you guys I, I seen it's Tony Gonzalez. No, I'm uh, you, Lawler. <laughs> yeah, you, I thought the you were Shannon Sharp. The only reason why I would say Kelsey above Gronkowski is Gronkowski has always had Tom Brady as his quarterback. Mm. True, mm. true, true. Travis had Alex at first, and Alex was good, but he's not bad. Then right. also at the same time, Gronk had injuries. He couldn't do it without Brady, so he went to Tampa to do it with Brady. Travis has done it with two different quarterbacks. And if Travis retired tomorrow, no one's going to disagree that he's Top three, if not number one, Gronk. They oh, first man. ballot Hall of Famer. Okay, I don't this think might Gronk surprise you, but Gonzalez I'm going to say Kelsey because you going to say Kelsey? Kelsey. Yeah, because Kelsey is redefining the position. What do you think announcers usually say about him? Well, he's basically a very large receiver. When you're that quick, you're that agile. And you're that fast. Those are those are gifts usually given to a receiver. This is a guy hey, that's playing tight end. Can, can we? And can he can block. Pause, can I, I hate to interrupt you. Can we pause to go talk for about three seconds? A legend just passed in college basketball. Uh oh, who passed? Bob Knight just passed. What? Damn. Whoa, whoa! Eighty-three years old. Rip, Bobby Knight, man. Damn. Mm, that, that. Wow. Now, wow. since we're doing goat talk, and you're a plethora of college coaches, do you put Bobby in your top 15 or your top 10? Oh, easily top 10. Easily. I'm almost top five, but yeah, easily top 10. Top, I top five. I, I say top five. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I might be able to name five better, but it, I'd be hard pressed to. Gay was Isaiah. <laughs> All right, my baby, continue on. Just that that <laughs> alert from ESPN just threw me off. All right. Um. So, your quarterbacks. I mean, the obvious the obvious answer is going to be Brady, but yeah, but I'm not going with TB12. Uh, shit, this for me is my homes because we ain't never seen nothing like it. And Brady got a couple questionable rings. But I'm his not story's not Mahomes. finished yet. That's why I was getting to say, I'm true, going Montana. True. Yeah, then I will go Montana then. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go, I was going to say Joe Montana myself. Um, I'm going to go with John Elway, Chiefs you know killer. What? Man, I, he, I, I, I Yesterday, I, I like the idea Brady. of Elway, but in big games for a while, Elway couldn't get it done. And I know that wasn't his entire fault. He's not the only player on the field. I know. I know. That's true. He still well, went to seven Super Bowls. That, that's true as well. 
if but, I'm either gonna go, if I can't do Montana, I'm gonna go Marino. He was mm, the guy see, that, for the longest as the quarterback. Yeah, yeah. Bless and, you. Thank you. Uh, he was an uh, ace for and bad boys. He's an actor. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now we did quarterback. Now talk to me about cornerback. I'll start. Prime. Down. There you go. Dion. He Dion, he just barely edges out Daryl Green for me. Yeah, Daryl Green second. Okay. Yeah, Number I can two. see that. I can see that. Number two. My man. And I can't disagree with either one of those, but I actually chose Sean Taylor. Really? You Tell put him in corner and not safety? I just put him as defensive back. I mean, I quarterback okay, 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 safety. Okay. You know, I just that's kind of what I was thinking. Okay. See, my my knock because Daryl that, Green played safety towards the end of his year. True. End true. of his years. I would go, but Charles he you Watson, know then Taylor. True. The only reason why I say Taylor first was because he had so much potential on just the little time that he played before he passed. Yeah. You just imagine if he had that full career. True. Okay, I can see that. Coach, this one will surprise Chuck you as well. Chuck No, Pittsburgh oh. Steelers. Nice coach. Great coach. Pittsburgh Steelers. For like me, six yeah. time champion Pittsburgh Steelers. You a Steeler fan? Oh yeah. Three coaches. <laughs> three only three coaches in the franchise. For me. I'm going to go Bill Walsh because he started a lot of these offenses that we see now. I can see that. I'm going to go Josh McDaniels. <laughs> <laughs> so you're in the minority. <laughs> see, something, something's, what's in that cup, Big Show? What's in that cup? <laughs> a whole lot of entertainment. Right? Um, Man, that's a tough one. I think I'll go with uh, I'll go with no. That, that's a good choice. I I second that emotion. And, and see, I second Bill Walsh. Can't go wrong with either one. Yeah, yeah, that's true. The West Coast innovator. He's that tree which Andy comes from. Yes, yep, that's what I'm saying. If it wasn't for him, and just think about it, if he didn't create his offense, the NFL would still be Chuck No ground and pound, where. The wide receiver just out there looking like a hooker on the corner waiting for attention. That's a great way to put it. Yeah, I do what I can. I'm a wordsmith. Cool. All right, homies. Your all time team. Which team? All time team. Your all time team. team. I'm, going with the, I'm going with the 85 Bears. <laughs> and here's the reason why <clears throat> I would put them up against anybody else's team and you'd have a chance i mean technically you have a chance with you know any great teams putting them up together but i feel like that defense was so cold they could stop anybody except for that dolphins game where they that trap door game i would probably say the 2000 ravens could beat the 85 bears mm, that that's a good one that's a good one i could see that I wouldn't want Ray Lewis chasing me in the backfield. But, you know, but that 07 Patriots wasn't bad either. I don't remember. <laughs> Except for their Super Bowl loss, but that was... Uh... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go 2,000 Ravens. Okay. Okay, this go shock y'all when I get on mine. The 1990 Buffalo Bills. Yeah, we the, shocked the what 90 the Bills. Yeah, they won Super Bowl, they lost to the Giants. That was a yeah. complete team on both sides of the ball. That offense, that defense, I don't know why they couldn't put together Super Bowl wins, but four straight Super Bowls. Well, I can you tell know, you why in 1990 they didn't put it together. Scott Norwood, wide right, <laughs> but they didn't Probably start that, right. that K gun offense till 91. It was after well, the first well, it was Super 90 Bowl. Or 91, whichever one it was, but that no, no, 90, 90 was their first Super Bowl where they lost to the Giants, but they didn't start their K gun offense until 91. I thought they did that in 90, but 
that's what was. So we'll say the ninety one Bills then, because that offense, that defense. But they got spanked by the Redskins. I liked your first choice, ninety dollars. Yeah, it, it was hard to Bills. beat, but they did get beat. Four years straight. All right, we're up against it on time. I want to know, and before we get out of here, your all-time favorite NFL great. Give it to me. Offense, defense, special teams, if you want. My all-time favorite, Derek yeah. Thomas. Uh, I'm going Bo Jackson. Uh, Bo didn't do enough. I'm going to go Dion. I'm going to go Jerry Rice. All great picks. Robert, appreciate you. Kevin, yes. appreciate you as always. Big Show, take us out of here. Don't forget to hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Thank you all for watching. Love your loved ones. Tomorrow's not promised. We'll see you next week. Good night. Dr. Daniels, you got free time. They need a guest spot. <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs>